It's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. They have everything that you're meant to enjoy. You can hang out with all the boys. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Young man, young man, don't. There's no need to fear down. Young man, young man, pick yourself off the ground. Pick yourself up off the ground because you know why, everybody? Because it's Friday night. What? It's Friday night. Yes, girl. Yes, boy. Yes, everything in between. It is Friday night. Hello, everybody. Hi. We made it. We all made it to Friday. Stop it. It's already April 12th. I had to look down at the date. It's April freaking 12th. It's almost the middle of April. What? What is happening? What? I feel like I was just in snow boots. Oh, that, wait. That was a couple of days ago. Just kidding. Just, just kidding, everyone. Hello. My name is KK. What's going on? So I'd like to say hello to Halise, Cindy. Piatti Taylor, Nancy, Kurt, Scott, and everybody else who joins in. I want to say hello to Al, too, even though he's in the weeds somewhere. I literally put on my eyeshadow 30 seconds ago. Do you believe it? Yes, you do. For me? Yes, you No. You didn't put your eyeshadow on 30 seconds ago. I did. Because I was getting my tabs ready for everybody for this evening. I'm in week two without writing my entire show, which has been a blessing. Can I just tell you? Just winging it is great. I love it because you know what? I've already read all the stories, so I kind of know them. Not really like piece by piece and 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 every little tidbit informational thing and, and every exact munjo thing. But I'm familiar. So it's good. It's good. Mm. And you know what? I planted things this week. I did. I planted things in the ground. I did. I did. And I found something new at Lowe's, which was kind of fun. So I found these things called blue hostas. Has anyone heard of blue hostas? I should have, I should have brought the little pictorial. But supposedly they're deer resistant. We'll see about that because the deer loves our hostas. And I will tell you. I think they're already chomping on my daylilies, and I'm a little upset about it, but I'm not going to go spraying anything. However, I notice all the little tippies of the, the greenery that's popping out of the ground is getting eaten. I'm very frustrated. Okay, so is anyone else here? Hi, too. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. So Cindy says, yes, mine are beautiful. Do you have blue hostas? Really? You do, Cindy? And Scott says, if they're deer resistant, he's very interested. Scott, that is what the package says. And Al's like, no saw. And I said, well, this, look, it, it says it right there. I, you can't see it. That's my hand. But the package says deer resistant. Kurt, thank you. Woo, woo. Goes right to everybody. Where does it go to? It goes directly to Kiki.fm. Thank you so much, Kurt Andrews. We love you so much. It means I can't retire now. Thank you. I want to retire like three years ago. Why? But they just because uh, the hostess. <laughs> what are you saying? Where'd you come from? <laughs> what I came from? I came from my mother. Oh, okay. Where the hell do you think I came from? Thank you, Kurt. Thank oh, you, thank God. you, thank you. It's, oh, oh, it's my third super what, on a live see stream. What, I see, love it. See what Kurt said you're, you're amazing, Kurt. You're no, amazing. No, he said I'm amazing. No, he it's said I'm nice amazing. Kurt. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My God. So let's see. Kathy Waddle is here. And she says, I head to Columbus and then West Virginia next weekend to see Journey and Toto. Mark will be there. How exciting is that? There is so many exciting things coming up this summer show wise. Um, you know, I, I would like to purchase some tickets to an upcoming show in July, but I don't know if we're going to, but I'd like to. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay. Um, you know which one I'm talking about. I have no well, idea. You do. That's fine. But whatever. A little hottie. A little, little hot hottie pants. You know who I'm talking about. Oh, well, that guy. Yeah, that guy. Uh, so we'll <laughs> we'll see though. We'll we'll see. So um, very exciting things for everyone in live music, and hopefully more exciting things. I would like to see some, 
you know, other artists emerge that haven't been out there in a really long time. Yeah. That's what I'm waiting for. Right. I would love to see just people that we haven't seen. I'm noticing on my TikTok, a lot of the old school dance people are out there like Stevie B, but he's been out there a long time, but he took a break. Who the hell is Stevie B? Oh my God. Spring of love. Oh, yeah. Come back to me. Yeah. That guy. I love him. I love Stevie B. I feel, from, I feel bad for Vermont. Stevie B. You know why? Why? Because he doesn't have a last name. He's just B. No, he has a last name. He's he's great. So a lot of those artists, Debbie Deb, when I hear music, it makes me dance. Um, Expose. Um, what, oh my gosh! Come go with me. Oh, oh, oh they're great. I heard extra a song today. Key. Oh wait, 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 hold on, Al. What? Hold on. What? Cheers, everybody. Oh, Cheers. God. It's Friday night, and I'm Let's feeling all right. And hopefully you are too. So as I was saying, I heard a extra a song key that I heard today. Point of no return. It was oh my god! Great. Oh my god! I want to feel the passion. To the point of no return. I turned oh, it so loud, the cat next to me is like looking at me, like, what the hell's wrong with you? Good for you. Turn it up. Yeah. Turn up the music, everybody. Turn up the music. Especially now wow. it's getting warmer outside. Patty Till is here. Hey, Patty. Roberta. Mm. You're our honey. You're what, our special honey. What did Patty grab? She grabbed something. What if, all right, let's see. Let me go through a Patty. Yeah, yeah. She grabs something. Maybe Al can start gardening tips in his YouTube me. channel with the blue hosta. No, no, Listen, no, Scott, no, no. I've tried. No, I'm not doing it. You know, I, I, I might I have to, to pick it I up. I have too much on my plate now. I can't. You don't know, watch you get dirty. Kurt said his show calendar is packed. That's a great thing. And let's see. Da, da, da. Here's in Canada oh, oh, last oh. day. Wow, 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 wow. Piatti said she grabbed second row tickets to Lou Graham in November. He'll be at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame guy by then. Hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, he will. I think that's going to happen. That's I gonna really happen. do. Lou Graham is great. And da, 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 da. What a great yeah. human being. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. We love him. He we love, love him. We love us some We Lou. all love Lou. We all Just love don't tell, Lou. Just don't tell. If you see Lou, don't tell my Lou. Oh, he knows. Probably. I think I think he knows. <laughs> So the weather was beautiful here. The beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was yeah. actually outside, outside. Um, doing a bunch of yard work and it felt really good. However, yeah, it hurts later. Yeah, it hurts a lot. Excuse me. Just but it rained like hell today and yesterday. yesterday. The wind was, um, mm. I thought we were going to lose power at the Radio Ranch, but we had some storm damage. Um and, but, you know, we got through it. It's fine. I felt like I was Dorothy. Right. I really did. I felt like I was Dorothy. I think, we got, like, I think we got like four inches of rain. We got a lot. A lot of rain. Lot and of rain. I went and checked all of my little plantings. Yeah. And especially the blue hostas. So this is what happened. So I got two packages of the blue hostas. They're yeah. six ninety nine for three of them in case you're interested. They're at Lowe's. Don't, I didn't don't go to plug Home Lowe's. Depot. They're not a sponsor. Right, don't, 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 Jay Al. got on a place, okay? I got them at Lowe's. No, 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 no. Lowe's no. Home Improvement it. Center. Just stop it. And they give oh nice, nice paper bags and everything like that. So I got oh those. God, so I, I bought two packages, and one of them, you know, I'm ready to plant them. They were deader than a doornail. I mean, like these things. And where you get them again? Crispy. Kiki, where you get them? Hold on a minute. Where you get them? I'm, I'm, where you buy them? I'm gonna. They were deader than a doornail. Hold on. Will you buy a minute? Let me redeem Will the you, story. Okay, redeem the story. Thank you. Thank you. So they were deader than a doornail. I was yeah. ready to plant them. They were fully mm. like crispy. Like, crispy. They were dusty. <laughs> so I brought them back to Lowe's Home Improvement Center. Yeah. And a very nice girl. It went over. I got another package. Good. I looked inside to make sure they were blooming. Blooming. And they were. So she said, no problem. I said, I just do an even exchange. She says, no. Nope, I have to return them. Yeah. Then I will let you purchase them. Oh, okay. wow. That's so great. that was fine. That's nice. So I did that. So now, once, now that the rain has stopped, Stop. this is the afternoon. Stop. I can plant them this weekend. So I have right. three planted already. Now I have to plant the other three. And Scott, I'll let you know. I'll let yeah. you know how it goes. I think it's going to be fine, but I'm curious to see if they're going to be blue and if the Ugh. deer don't eat them and how huh. big the leaves are going to be. And will they be blue in my soil? Because let's mm. face it, everybody, soil has a lot to do with the color of your plantings. That's right. 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 That's true. Just like my hydrangeas. Now, when I, I, when I bought some of them, they were pink, but now they're blue. 
And some of them don't even bloom, which is so frustrating. And hopefully this year, (laughs) because Al said he's going to fertilize them. Yes. Maybe I'll get some more flowers, but we'll see. I did fertilize them already. You did? Yes, I did yesterday. I'm going to fertilize it another week or so. I give two applications of fertilizer. Wait a minute. minute. Someone's here that hasn't been been here in a long long time. time. And we'd love to say a big hello and welcome back to Candy. Candy. Buddy Candy. I've been going through candy withdrawal. And Roberta, you have some for what? Do you you have um, hostages? Let me know. I've been going. Hi, Candy. Thank you so much. I'm glad everything's okay. I haven't slept for weeks. I I was nervous. I woke up, like, I think it was last week. I think it was last Thursday. He's in a sleep I woke up going, Candy, Candy, Candy. Candy, Candy. Candy, Candy. Says, Candy. go back to sleep. I said, shut uh, up. I says, I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> sorry, so we're glad Candy. you're here, Candy. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry, Candy. We're, welcome uh, back. Welcome back. I apologize, Candy. And Scott says, dear, eat my... Ho- oh, thank you, Roberta. That's great. I can use as what many hostages as I can get. She says, a hostess? Oh, hostess. hostess. She has hostess for us. Thank you. <laughs> I thought she had a hostess. Love them. Right. I plant them everywhere. Right. And Scott, we have the same problem. Every single day. Come- Why? And we have some almost right near the back door. Yeah. Those little suckers come right up What there. kind of problem do you have the same as Scott? What does Scott have a problem the with? The deer eat our hostess. Does the deer eat his hostess? Yeah. That's what he said. He's deer in his backyard? Apparently. He lives in the city. There's no deer there. Of course there are. I don't know where Scott. Uh-huh. I've never been to Scott's house. No, he hasn't, so... inv- he hasn't invited hey, me Christina. to stay. Christina's here. I, I've never been invited to stay at Scott's house. Play opportunity. Okay. Yeah. I only met the guy once. Right. He never met me again. And I just like, I I'm probably never meet him again. I you mean, get matching I, PJs. What? You can get matching PJs. Oh, you know, PJs. I have to say something. I, I don't mean to drive you. Key. Sure. But we're at Yazzo a couple weeks ago, and she says, These are Scott sizes. <laughs> and really? I, I said, Here we are at Yazzo. And he says, This is Scott size. How do you know what size because Scott Because he did? said it he 40 did? by 30, and that's like not a size you really remember. Really? But they weren't the pants he wanted. What size is he? Scott, were they Wranglers? Because what these, size these were not Wrangler. 40 by 30. Oh, he's a 40 by 30? Is it 40 by 30? Wow. Please tell me I'm right. I want to hug him. Please tell me I'm right. There's a lot of hugging going on in, in Scott's yes, bag. Yes. Okay, now. Do we share about Is we it Wrangler right? that you I want? I'm asking Scott. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. But these were not Wrangler, so I did not pick them up. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. So yes and yes, 40 by 30 Wranglers. And if I see them in really nice condition, I promise you I will pick them up and I will shoot them in the mail to you. Right. But they weren't Wranglers. But there were some other. But we're not going to wash them, Scott. We're just going to send to you the way they are. Candy, no need to apologize, honey bun. There's no there's no sorries here. No sorry. Yeah, I'm glad you said you're sorry, but Candy. You, no. Because I've, I've been having nightmares <laughs> for several weeks. No sorry. You're no, here. No. We're happy. Yeah. That's great. Of course, Scott. And literally, we're at a yard sale. I'm like, these yeah. are Scott size. But yeah, they're but the wrong here brand. Here we early in the morning. These are Scott sizes. We but, but the guy wants you try to buy him jeans. Whatever. Okay. That's yeah. what I do. Yeah. People tell me things all the time. Oh, if you see this, right. get it at the yard sale. If you see this, you get remember, it at the yard you sale. You remember everything. I don't remember Jack Doodle Doo. Roberta, puzzles, right? And right. I just brought her puzzles. Like it's a thing. You manifest it. Okay. Manifest it. I want to find a million dollars this weekend at a yard sale. Million dollars. What happened? Well, Probably not. Scott, but we can you. only hope. Scott gets up at like five o'clock every morning. He listen. In fact, Oh, he said great song selection yeah, in the morning, Al. I he, love that. He uh, put a thread out on, on his social media, uh, Facebook, uh, this week. At 5.30, 5.15, 5.30 morning, he was listening to Let's Groove Tonight by Earth, Wind, and Fire. I mean, And you know what? I just like, what a mother song that is. That's I a love great song. song. Earth, Wind, and Fire, anything. anything. Oh my thank God. you very much. So, oh, my God. But I was Scott, listening to, now I... Listen, Listen, I listen to Kiki.fm mostly all of the time. But before I go on the air, Al yeah. knows I like yeah. to listen to my old school mixes. dance music and mixes. mixes. It's what I listen to. The club and days. oh, club days. my gosh. Yeah. Every, what were you saying to me? What song is this? What song no, is this? What song? Yeah, I'm like, oh, Debbie Gibson was on. Like yeah. all, ki- all kinds of great yeah. music. Information Society. Infor- oh, my God. Oh, What's on your mind? Oh, my God. That was great. It is. And a nice dance remix of a uh, Cousin of Commotion by Madonna. Great one. You're oh like, my who's God. that? I said, it's Madonna. Donna. But I heard Hello. the beats coming in. I don't recognize songs like I used to because my brain is so smush. But like, it was. Your brain is smush? 
pushed? Yeah, my brain's pushed. <laughs> it's dilapidated. My brain is gone. I'm lucky I, I can remember anything. Oh, and Roberta said she loves the puzzles, and Stephanie brought her for more. But no you kidding. know what? It's puzzle time. Roberta won't be going out all summer. She'll be doing puzzles. Puzzle time. When it puzzle gets time. hot, you sit in, you do a no, puzzle. It's all good. No, you don't sit in. You go to the beach. Can you bring a puzzle to the beach? No, probably not. No, I think that, unless you're inside at a beach house. Right. And I said to Al, this year we're going to the beach. Oh, absolutely. We haven't been to the beach in years. And I said, we're going to the beach this year. We're going to go really early in the morning yeah. while nobody's looking. In fact, we're, we're going to go next weekend. Because I don't want anybody seeing wait, 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 wait. this you, in a bathing suit. You say we're going to go to the beach really early so nobody's looking? What does that mean? Well, because I, I want to explain. Well, I want to, I don't want to expose my entire self, but I want to expose Why? portions of myself so I, I could go I'll into expose, the water. I expose my entire body. I don't give a hoot about anybody. You know what I just remembered? I what? dreamt that I saw sharks last night. Oh my god. It was in my dream and oh they were god. right near the shore. Uh, sure. And somebody said can sharks. That, can you say that word again? They're sure. Right near the shore. Just say again, sure. Sure. <laughs> That's Rhode Island if I've ever heard it. Sure. Two of them. There were two of them right near the shore. Sure. And people <laughs> are like, oh my ah. Uh, sharks. sharks and i said ah. uh, i was uh, on the beach though but i was uh, close to the water yeah and they were right there so that was in my dream though I that didn't you, really happen Kurt, i love you did i tell you that already, but they Kurt? were really big Probably sharks loved. i don't know big how shark. they got that big because they, they were right near the because shore because they're born they eat and they get big but they were right like almost on the beach so but it beach. was a dream so they could be dream. big they could be like dinosaurs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dreams was, do anything. I was a little boy once, and and then I became a big boy. It happens. You did? Yes. All right. Let's talk about the eclipse. So the eclipse was oh a God. total bummer here in Rhode yeah. Island. Yeah. Our friend Kelly in Ohio, though, she had the best experience ever. She said it was the coolest thing she's probably seen in her life. Now, that's pretty good. Really? That's Before pretty minutes? impressive. Yeah. Well, yeah. She had the glasses on and everything. Here, it did get cloudy. And... Al was, don't take Louie outside. Well, we Leave him in the is there a warning? There are all kinds of warnings. Don't take your pets outside. If you have cattle, make sure they're in the barn. All of, the cows are inside. It's a bunch of caca. Yeah, they, they, everybody puts these things out. It don't listen to anybody, but it's fine. But yeah, it was disappointment here. I, I wasn't really that. disappointed. I, I knew right. we weren't getting the entire totality of the eclipse. I don't understand what that is. 90%. Sounds, like, 90%. It sounds like it's doomsday. When and you then it totality. got brutally cold. Brutally cold. It was God. the weirdest wow. thing. Like a cold snap. <laughs> it really was. But I did watch when it hit in Texas. Texas. And it was pitch black out. Pitch like, black. that's cool. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. But that did not happen here in Rhode Island. No. It, was, it was just, eh. Yeah. eh. A, little eh. Sh a little shady. And that shady. was it. Yeah. But, uh, I know a few guys went all the way up to Maine and Vermont. Yeah. And one guy who went to Vermont took him nine hours to get home. That's nuts. I know one woman who went up to Maine, it took her a long She didn't get home until like 2 30 in the you morning. You said nine hours. And yeah. she lives there or something, right? I don't know. I can't remember. Scott said his son went to the Canadian border to see it. Really? That's really no, I get the that's thing. hardcore. Scott has put some nice things out about his son. He put it up about a month and a half ago. His son on the top of uh, Mount Washington. Nice. Maybe his mother had maybe a few months. Ago. Al wants to go there so bad. I've been there for a long time. He's like, let's go. I said, um, it's like a million dollars a night no, to no, stay no, no, there. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the the mountain. I'm not talking about the hotel. I'm not going up no mountain. But you'd be, you'd be, you'd be scared itless I, if you went up there. I would you be. would be. You would be like peeing your pants. Because so, it's so steep. And they have and, that train, the cog railway. Oh, God. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Because it's yeah. like this. Like the train. <laughs> Listen, can you see it like that? It literally yeah. goes supposedly. Very steep. Allegedly straight up. Allegedly. The, the mountain. And right. I'm like, oh, hell no. Hell no. I'm not he'll doing know. that. Yeah. Oh, I'd be screaming the whole time. People, The conductor would be like, get this woman. Off. Just throw her off. Because I can't stand it. All right. So. Roberta said, I told um, Steph, make sure the chickens oh, have their glasses Seven is, on. Oh, uh, chickens. You know, I thought it was seven <laughs> today, Roberta. I was in Tractor Supply. They have hundreds of chickens, little chicken chickies, you know, you know, running around and everything else. So seven is chickens again. They're great. No, I, we I'm, can't have I'm, chickens. We can't no, have yeah, them. chickens. Very bad. Very, but I'm sure very bad. Seven took the... Right precautions to protect the chickens from seeing the eclipse. Because there's nothing like a blind chicken. 
No. How would you know? Because how would you even know? Be, because the egg comes out, no, it comes out. Like it's not like they need to no, see no, anything no, no. to have it come the, out. Chickens are already hatched, Kiki. All right. I get the no, egg, like, egg. but if they have another chicken. No, no, no. They're not old enough to have another chicken. How do you know that? She buys baby chicks. How do and, you know they're babies? The, 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 what do you think she's talking about? just called them chickens. Whatever. She didn't say they were babies. She I don't know what the hell they are. I don't know what they are. The sure chickens are the chickens so long. I mean, chickens the only, are grown chickens. The, chickens are only good layers for a period of time. Just like us. I mean, right. I mean, you know, and I, I, and I think the important thing is next, next time we talk to Roberta or Stephanie, we should find out if Stephanie's chickens are going to lay eggs. I, th I think, you know, that's very important because some chickens don't lay eggs. You have to give them oyster shells. They, uh, stop it. They give them oyster shells to make sure that the eggs are hard They're because there's nothing like a, I mean, if they didn't produce a hard shell, they're worthless. Yeah, I, yeah. I like a hard shell. So Patty had a hundred percent eclipse, which in is Florida. awesome. Wow. And Halise, oh, all right, Halise has a joke. Did the blind chicken cross the road? Is that a joke? Or do you have do you have an ending what, to it? What the, 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 Did the, the blind, blind chicken, chicken cross, cross the, road? the road? Okay. I don't know. What's the answer? Is this a joke? This is, I don't know, but it, Candy's afraid of heights. <laughs> really? Me too. Oh, I'm sorry. Patty's in Ohio. I, I said I said Florida. I'm mixing up with another Patty. I apologize. That's right. Wait, Patty Taylor. Patty, Patty Greco is in Florida. Patty Taylor is hanging out with Tim tonight. What's Tim doing tonight? That's what I want. Well, know. he's not on the Cog Railway, but that's right. Patty said her and Tim went on the Cog Railway really? last fall. Oh. I couldn't yeah. do it, though. Yeah. I couldn't do it because they go up and then you come yeah. back down. Oh, okay. no. Well, that's a good experience. They go up and you go down. You go up and you, you go do. down. Right. Right. So wait a minute. So Candy said they said it would be around 2040 something before we get a total eclipse in Florida. I remember when I was around 15 right. years old and I saw my very first total eclipse when we lived in Tarpon Springs. Yes. Yeah, see, right. I remember that when I was a kid, total, total eclipse in Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island. So we did have one and it was a big deal. You know, the, the unfortunate thing is next time we have an eclipse, I won't be here. <laughs> No, we're having another one in October. No, we're not. We are, but it's it's like uh, not. It's a different kind. Like it's a different kind. I mean, and speaking of which, let me go to me. one of my tabs. Go my one of my tabs. Oh, let's pay attention. Sound intelligent now. Okay, it goes a tab from Kiki today. Oh, you know but, you're just a no. Bum. Wait a you're just a bum bum. Uh, these this is always, the blind chicken one in a circle. Has scribbled egg. This is supposed to be funny. Ow. Oh my god! Wait, wait! You gotta oh, say the whole funny. joke, man. You what? Can't, you can't just do that. What do you right, mean? Wait a minute. Wait. What? All right. What? All right. Halise has a joke. Let me just do it in totality. Okay. Shall I? Like the eclipse. All right. This is a joke from Halise. Ready? Joke from Halise. How many Halise? A Friday. Did the blind chicken cross the road? Al, answer. Yes. The blind chicken went in a circle and had a scrambled egg. Yes. <laughs> so what's the punchline? I don't know. I don't know. Ask Elise. <laughs> I can't. Let's talk about this cicadas. Is, it's cruel. You shouldn't talk about Hillies. You shouldn't be talking about chickens being blind. All right. So there's going to be. Can, but blind chickens can't see their way out of the egg. So everybody, ladies and gentlemen, can you still see me? I, I can see you fine. Good. All right. So oh there's God. going to be a big cicada what? breakout. Cicada. You know those those like they do they make noises, the bugs. Everybody knows like a those caterpillar are. or something like that. Everybody, please tell me you know what a cicada I is. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna look Who in the cares? comments. Do, do, do you know what a cicada is? Just say yes in the it's comments, a rock please. Hey, John it's cicada. not a rock. John rock. cicada is some good songs. John Cicada. Oh cicada. I thought it was cicada. <laughs> God knows. Nancy said yes. They're creepy. Uh, thank you for at least. Thank you uh, for acknowledging. Elise said big bug. All right. Thank you. Guys you you guys know so what cicadas smart. are. No. All right, Patty. All right. That's something else. Okay. Ready? Uh, cicadas. Cicadas. So we're supposed to get billions. I mean, not just a little bit. What are you trying? Can you, you, Al, you, you, you listen. I'm you, talking. You, you try to scare people. Yes. Right. I'm trying to scare everybody. Right, that's I, that's my goal I'll, here. I'll shut up. That's that's my goal, everybody, is to scare you, really. No, it's Friday. It's fun Friday, but we get to talk about things because it's happening. So billions, billions and billions of cicadas are going to be popping out of the ground. Like, did you know? 
did you know, well, see, I don't have to worry about it because it's not going to happen in Rhode Island. But the last time that this happened was 221 years ago. Shut the front door. Shut the front cicada door. Like that is insane. So the winged insects, they got, they got wings, kids. They, they kind of look like, to me, they look a little bit like cockroaches, just saying. Um, but they're going to be across the Midwest and the Southwest starting in early May. So it's happening soon, like a few weeks away, really. It's, it's not that far away. And it's called, it's going to happen a double emergence of two different broods of periodical cicadas. Listen, I'm not a scientist. I'm just reading what's on NBC News right now. So they spend a lot of time under the ground. Like they live under the ground for years. And then they decide, you know what, dude, we're, we're done under here. We're going to come out and we're going to have a drink. We're going to go party. We're going to make people creeped out. We're going to jump in their head. We're going to make them freak out. And then we're going to go back in the ground. So they're going to do that, and they're unusually large. Thank goodness they're not here. I mean, I hope not. My luck, they'll they'll be here. It's like, oh, never happened to Rhode Island before, but there was an outbreak of cicadas because Kiki was afraid of them, and now there's a ladybug flying around. I can't. But anyway, isn't that weird? That's messed up how that happens like that. Well, I'm so, glad I tuned in tonight. If I know about the cicada damage. Wait a minute. I'm There's gonna, no damage. I'm going to hide underneath my pillow right now. I am scared. Scott is scared. Scott wants me, up in Boston, wants me to hold him because we're both afraid of cicadas. Oh, the Thompson twins hold me now. Hold me now. Oh, hold my cicada. But anyway, so they're going to say, they're saying that over a trillion cicadas could cover the country where two broods overlap a, what the heck's a brood a, what's a brood it's a drunk cicada but i gotta tell you the good news what's the good news Kiki? the good news is that cicadas are very harmless they don't bother ah. humans they might taunt them like if a cicada were to go up to al and go and like they'd poke him on the shoulder and go and then al would turn around and go what somebody's poking me and then they would hide and then they'll go to his other shoulder and go bloop and then he'll go, oh, somebody's poking me. And they'll mess with him. Like, I think they're like that. They're kind of, you know, fresh cicadas, but they're not going to bother you. They're not going to hurt you, but they might taunt you because I feel like if they know you're afraid type of thing, they're going to come at you. So it says that no one alive today has ever seen this before and no one alive today will ever see this again. That's comforting. <laughs> that is comforting. <sighs> Excuse me? No, I just... Then why don't you take a nap? No, it's fine. It's very you're like, you're like my trolls on my page. No, you know? it's fine. Oh, I'm so boring. I know no, I'm boring, no, 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 but you know what? I don't care. I, I'm a, I'm, you know, I really very don't care, and it doesn't tell, bother me. But I live with you. You say some very important information here. <sighs> so it says that... Let's see. Oh, here they're going to... Oh, the blue dots. The blue dots have the brood eight cicadas and the red dots are where the brood, I don't know, 15 or something are the, the, these. Are, all right. So it's going to be like the lower Midwest and it looks like not Florida. So candy, you're good, but like the center, lower center and lower, it's like a shoe, like a boot. It looks like Italy. Did you say a swear sword. word? Did you just say something bad? No, it's, it's in the shape of a boot. I thought you had to say so it's like this, shoot. but I can't really because I. Oh, can I share the map? <gasps> no, no, share, I can share no, the no, map. No. We well, get up this cicada. I'm going to share the cicada. Stop talking about map. causes. Talk about what people like. Oh, I'm going to share the cicada map. Nobody's going to listen to this again. Oh my! I don't like because I'm Great. delaying the accident. Oh, I don't we can care see the about the map. So there's a the cicada map. I don't care. My God. I just Thanks, wanna, everybody. I just wanna so there is the cicada map. Oh, and if you live in any one of those sections oh. where the blue or the red dots are. Oh, nice ad there for a new SUV deals. That's who's going to ride that? Yeah. Get like, out. I wouldn't ride get that. Get out there. They're not paying for this. Well, this You're is, so fresh. This is the, the so everybody, map. make sure That's you. That's not real. That is a real map. It's on NBC News, dude. That's the, NBC News is a factual. You what do you you gotta tune into something like um, PBS. 
This, yeah. Oh, hi. that's boring. No, no, no. Hi, that's no. Boring. Because NBC News says that you, you take the, you're supposed to have three or four sources before you put out there. Oh, but who the hell cares? Oh, my God. So, anyway, so there's your cicada news. The cicada tips are kicking out. I am done with the cicada. Well, let's see if there's anything. Well, I will in a minute. Oh, my God. I have a, I have a lot of tabs open. Well, close your tabs. So, we have a lot of talk, stuff to talk about. to people, okay? Oh, so they might close yeah. school. Where? I don't know. I, just I, just made, I just made that. It's up. like everybody talking about this stupid eclipse. Oh my god! So many so people. Were, so many people were working. Oh my god! Like, oh, let's go see the eclipse. People are buying glasses. Like the hour before the eclipse arrives, we're like, we can buy glasses to look at. Did I wear any glasses? No. Did I go blind? No. Hey, Mary I Mendoza, what's going on? Anything. What's going on, Mary? Mary Mendoza from Texas is here. So hi, my name is Mary. Once, I was a geeky that I've been Once it hits sixty-four degrees, people 64 in that degrees. map. Yeah. That's when they're gonna come out. It's a Steve Perry weekend all we get along for Mary from Texas. So you're gonna see them just come out of the ground. Once it hits sixty-four, <laughs> I would just hide in your house. Do you think Steve Perry is worried about cicadas? No, not at all. No, because they're not gonna be in California, anyway, so he you doesn't want care. It, uh, cicada. <laughs> you're not even funny. I am funny. And, and this is the biggest, going to be the biggest outbreak Hi, since Mary. 1803. Oh, my God, Mary. You hide yourself up for three months, Mary. You don't want a cicada getting your hair. See, a cicada got my hair one time. That's why I have no hair left. You know, <sighs> now is really the time I would love a snack, but I don't have any. So, oh, you know what? Before we move on to other tabs and other news. Thank God. Because there's a lot going on. <sighs> Al, really, you no, can take a, a nap if you want, no, and fine. I can just talk to my friends, and they'll listen to me because right. they're interested in okay. what I have to say. Maybe, hey. maybe not. But if you want to be bored out of your mind, that's fine. Go to my other channel. You talk about check it out. People talk about music. But that's fine. It's called Kiki Room. It's literally just vlogs. I'm just doing vlogs. Vlogs. That's it. Just well, doing stuff. I've got a yard sale one coming up. I've got. Uh, I just posted one. I what was it about going to TJ? I've got all kinds of. They're already in the wings, but yeah, it's just I don't really edit them. There's I'm I'm just like recording and just putting them up there. So she just goes to me. This is L. Go away, man. Just go away. That's right, Scott. Thank oh my you. god, I like that. You're a pain in my buttocks. It, it's like if you're bored, you can just go I'm somewhere not, else. I'm not bored. And go play in another no, I play don't yard. Wanna, I want to play with everybody here, but let's. Play with something that makes you know what I happy. think I'm gonna do, and I what? thought about this today. What's I think that? I'm gonna be a DJ on TikTok. Oh my god, stop it! I do, so I think talk I'm about do this it. Now. No, I think you're I'm a DJ now. Kiki, that's it. No, but I want to no, 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 be, I want to be like a music no, no, no. DJ. Oh my god, why? I want to be, why? <laughs> okay, no, 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 yeah, no, I want to no. do that. Like, we listened to some mixes tonight, they're I love great, that. but where does game but because it's fun, it's fun. Listen, I love that oh music. Oh my god, it's great. We and, play and a lot of music. Really, key to, key it really happen. reminds me of being in the club. The club. I love being in the club. The club. I mean, I would be getting ready right now. For what? I'd be getting ready to go to the club. Really? Yep. Yep. And I'd be in the club to meet you, maybe. Me and Michelle. Right. No, you you weren't that. You weren't around. At that what if you was around? Was you, it dead? You were not around. No, what, it's just pre Al. Pre Al. I didn't really go to clubs when I met you. I was just really? with you. Okay. We didn't do that. Well, we did go so to what you, some clubs. So let me ask you a question here. What did you go to the club for? To dance? I did. I love dancing. Okay. Dancing is so fun. I do have to say that. You dance every waking moment. You Don't I? And five, five, do five, I sing? Yes. Thank you. Is, is it entertaining? Yes. Is it comical? Yes. <laughs> You know every word to every friggin' no, song. No, I don't know every word. You do. I, do, I don't. Like, there's this thing they're doing on blind karaoke uh, on on TikTok. Wait, wait, wait. blind karaoke. What the hell is blind? See, at least on the blind thing today, and now you're talking about blind. Now, take that back. That's cruel. No, they're doing blind karaoke. So, what like, do you mean by blind? Someone karaoke? turns the, they pick a song. Yeah. Turn the laptop around. The lyrics yeah. are going, and the person's singing, and they can't see the lyrics. That's the way it should be. Oh, it's funny. Scott says he wants to hear pre Al stories. All right. No, it's gonna cost you, Scott. All right, let me let me see. <laughs> I don't know what can I say. What can I really talk about pre Al? Right. There's a lot. I mean, well, I mean, I was boring. I had a very boring life. Me too. Really, a very boring. 
My brother is eight years older than I. Yeah, okay. His birthday is coming up in a few days on the 18th. All right, this is funny, right? But he can't celebrate because so, the is coming to town. So I am adopted. Okay. And my brother's eight years older than me. His birthday is April 18th minus the 24th. Isn't okay. that funny how that happens, yeah, though? Totally. Yeah. Like, we're just a few days apart. Right. But eight years apart. Right. So he's older, and I used to annoy his friends, like, his friends would come over and I would think it was so cool. I'd be like hanging with the big dudes and I thought it was neat, but he said I was annoying. He always said I was annoying. So I used to steal change from his, um, his coffee can and I would go to the store and buy, buy snacks. (laughs) You I, stole change from really your brother? I really like snacks. And did, was he ever aware that you stole his change? He said, he, he's like, I knew you were taking change. And I'm like, how That's did you terrible. know? How did you know? Because you I, would, I would I would make the I was change su- surprised better. I've been like, locked up for life. I would take the change and then I would like mess it up. Mess so it up. he wouldn't notice, but he said he knew. So that's bad. Um, mm. So I did that. Mm. And let's see. I mm. always thought I was going to be a DJ. Always. Like, I always thought that. Oh, really? I did. I would sit on the front stoop in Providence, Rhode Island until literally, I'm not kidding you guys. I'm not kidding. On the weekends Mm. till one, two o'clock in the morning with my boom box. I've said this many, many times. Listen to, just sit there and listen to music all Mm. by myself. Mm. And it would be dark outside. Dark. And I would just imagine I was on stage with said artist who was singing in my boom box. I know. I know I had a really lonely life, but, but I, you know, that I I met Michelle and Carrie and I I had a life again and right. High school was crazy. High school was fun though. It was a lot of work, but you have the memories of sitting on your front doorstep, listening to music. Oh my God. Music has always been a big part of your life. Since since I can remember. Right. Since I can remember. And, and I literally asked for a record player. I remember when I was, I was a little teeny tiny. Today. Teeny tiny little girl. Okay. I wanted a record player. record player. And people would just give me records. Right. Good ones though. And I just always listen to records and I don't know. I just it's always been about music though. Yeah. It's always, always. Right. That's Candy how says, we met. Music. I like your blogs when you're cooking, etc. I like them. Thank you, Candy. Well, you can go to this other channel now and I'm gonna put all that stuff on there because oh. I just am. I can't go live on there yet, though. I only have like 30 subscribers, which is fine. Yeah, so yeah. subscribe to it. And then I don't know. I think when I get to. See, I didn't know Mary Mendoza oh. was a cheerleader. She's a cheerleader, a cheerleader? In, ju- in junior high. That's fine. And she loves dancing. She loves dancing big yeah, time. See? Well, cheerleaders. Everybody loves cheerleaders. I mean, everybody here. Dancing. I mean, dancing is a good thing. I'm actually starting to get my rhythm back again. All right. What, your rhythm? What do you mean? You're getting it back? Why did you lose it? Yeah. But I'm actually starting to groove again. Where? Well, where are you grooving? Well, I need to see. Uh, well, a lot of music I hear in key that I've ever just uh, I'm starting to move again. This is like, I, I, where are you I, moving to? I don't know, but I when I dance, I feel good. I mean, it's, well, because I don't that's mean, what it does, yeah. But I didn't realize I've realized that in ten years. I mean, it's, it's, I love dancing. Dancing is great. Oh, we should have a dance party sometime, how you know? Gonna, how are we going to do that? We'll play some good. How are we going to do that? Well, you know, go up to Scott's house and we can have a dance party in his backyard. And he can cook wieners on the grill. All right. So let's go to the next tab. Oh, wow. All right. So. But I'll be about ladybugs. Nope. This is a little different. So this so. this was different. Um. And I found this interesting. Disneyland threatens lifetime ban for those who lie during disability access service registration. So I guess people are lying that they're disabled. Like, who does that? Who does these things? Well, you know who comes to mind, really, everybody. Gypsy Gypsy Rose. I mean, her mother had the Munchausen Munchausen proxy. Mm -hmm. And I know that is a real thing. But, you know... The poor girl was not ill. She was not disabled. And her mother said for years that she was. And then mm-hmm. Gypsy Rose ended up murdering her mother, having her bright boyfriend do it, her, mm-hmm. her ex-boyfriend. And it's like. Well, this is great stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. So. You mean people actually lie about being disabled? <laughs> now, I have to say, I mean, I have seen it at 
some venues that we've been to. You did? Y- yes. I All shouldn't right. say this because it's not okay. really nice. But, you know, people come in, they, they come in with the, these gadgets to help them get into the venue. Or they get, come in these rollaway things. And then the concert starts. And they're dancing like you and I. And I'm really? telling you, yeah, I'm oh, de- I, 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 I see it over and over. I see it even more recently in the last few years. Oh. I see people coming in. I know they may whatever, but you, know but you know something? What? They're not lying. I think what music does for people is that people who have a disability, they forget, they come back into the f- sphere of making them feel good again. Some people who can't talk anymore can still sing. It's therapy. It's therapy because music touches all of us. Marie not, Osmond has a song, Music is Therapy. And, and and it's it's true. Right. Like if if you are, how often have we said this here? Really, you're yeah. down in the dumps, and you just turn on a song that you love and makes you happy. It's going to make you happy. It, and just like if you surround yourself with negative people, you're going to become negative. Oh my god! If you are just say you're alone, you're you're by yourself, and and you know a great song comes on, it's going to lift your mood and make you happy. So music is therapy, and I totally agree with that. So I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, we do a lot of stuff at the casino, or whatever, and I I don't see that. I think they think that people genuinely do have disabilities that we see that come in there. Um, but Disneyland is saying that, and I think. I don't know. I, I mean, this is this is this on the people this that this give it up. They, they should just shut the hell up. No, the owl. Yeah, just hey, the, for them to put a turn out like that, you know, some they have no idea what's going on in somebody's life. Like I just said, you know, people they look at the disabled, but when music plays, they are in a different element. You know, it's like Mary Mendoza right now is getting drunker than a skunk. Good for you, Mary. She's drinking do margaritas. It. Do it, Mary. Because do it. It makes it feel good. Drink it. She, she drinks maybe three margaritas a night and go to bed and listen to Steve Perry on the wall. I'm just saying. Steve Perry. Right. Steve Perry. Right. So Disneyland said that guests who lie during the registration process for the disability access, they're going to be permanently banned from the happiest place on earth. So it's not too happy. Um, And it's sister park in Orlando. So what's happening, I guess people are really abusing the program, which results in longer attraction queues and backed up genie plus lanes for guests. So I guess when you're saying you're disabled, you can go to the front of the line. Okay. I, Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, so they're hoping that the effect will go into effect on June 18th at Disneyland and May 20th at Walt Disney world and will allow guests who need the service to use it. Right. So let's see, they think that Disneyland officials say that they are warning people that you cannot cheat the system. Oh my God. And oh. don't try to cheat oh our system, people. Oh my God. It's not what going is, to happen. What is Disney like going to do? Ask them, listen, if somebody's disabled, they have no idea. Well, they didn't spend their hard earned money to go to an amusement park at Disney. If somebody's disabled, well, what do you mean cheat? I well, mean, th- 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 let me tell you what they said. What? Th- th- and I quote If it is determined that any of the statements a guest made in the process of obtaining DAS, I don't know what DAS is, are not true, the guest will permanently be barred from entering the Walt Disney World Resort and the Disneyland Resort and any previously purchased annual passes, magic key passes, tickets, and other park products and services will be forfeited and not refunded. Wow. Yeah, but how can they tell? I they're mean, saying that they'll th- if you're abusing the system, you're going to be caught and they're going to get you. Well, they they can figure security can watch them on cameras and stuff like that. I mean, there's some people. But, but, oh, because it says it, it's increased the DAS. I don't know what DAS is. I don't I'm know sorry, what it is. but it has increased over the years because it's a Disneyland line hack, and I guess that's what it is. Line if you're hack, saying yeah. you're disabled, you can go to the front of the line. You don't have to wait in the long, long line instead of paying for, what is it called? When we went years ago, I don't know. It's some, some pass express thing. Express Like yeah. it's some express you pass pay or whatever. Extra you pay extra. To be the front line. So, like, let me tell you something. Don't go messing with Disney because they're going to get you. And, and I guess 
Wow. But the thing is, like, like Kenny says, karma will always get you. I mean, if it's people true. If people do it, payback's a bitch. You know, but whatever. Shame on them. I mean, you shouldn't you know? lie about being disabled. I no, mean, because, come on, let's, let's face that. If they, listen, somebody lies about being disabled, gets on a ride. I held the roller, the roller coaster on the first one, goes to the very top, gets stuck, and never can get that again. Yeah, I'm just saying, because the just you know, it's good. So gonna, Scott uh, says, uh, I'm sure they use facial recognition software. I mean, they gotta God. do, they gotta do something with that because I don't you know, I don't know how using they would facial know. recognition on me. It would break. No, <laughs> facial recognition Stop hardware. It. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. it. I didn't mean to say that. Stop it. Stop it. I didn't mean to say that. No, but that is not crazy. Like, like the fact that they have to come out come on. and say, say, you know what? Right. <laughs> hey, you see what it went on sale this morning at 10 o'clock? Oh, um, Aerosmith tickets. Yeah. So Aerosmith is up and running again. Hey, did you see how much the tickets are? No, I did not, Key. How much are the tickets? A are? lot. Like, too much for me. Really? Too much for me. I would love to go, but no, I, I can't. The Black Crows have some good reviews and some bad reviews. Oh, really? Yeah. But oh, the, hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Hi. How are you? So, the, uh, I mean, I I would like to see Steve Tyler. I know. I just hope he takes care of himself, but, you know. All right. Here's the thing. The guy's, one, what, 76 years old? 77. Is he 77? I don't know. By the time he goes on tour, All right, everybody in the comments, how old is Steve I don't Tyler? know. He's old. Um, He's old. You know, again. What he's done in the past, I, I was thinking about this today, like what Steven Tyler, how he has performed in the past, what the guys have done in the past, they're not going to do that today. That's not going to be them today. Hey. And I think, unfortunately, you know, Steven was trying to be that today, like running around the stage. He's fallen wow. down a few times. He's wow. hurt himself. Wow. What? Scott said, Aerosmith, uh, Boston sold out. The price a little bit too much for him. That's what I said. That, yeah. if Scott's not buying tickets, man. They're pretty pricey. Well, wow. you know what's though, this is a, Scott? This, can I just say something about the tickets? Go ahead, I, King. I think, you know, all right, Boston. I get it. Boston. I get Boston, Boston. being almost sold out. Boston. But you know, Boston. Some of these other venues where yeah. the tickets they're saying, "Oh, we're sold out. We're sold so, out." Blah, 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 blah. I don't think so. Boston. I don't think so. And there's Boston. a big thing going on with J Lo, but we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Oh, huh. hold on. What? Someone's here. Ready? Oh, who's here? Ready? You're gonna be quiet. Mm -hmm. Finding mm -hmm. your way down mm -hmm. in Baker mm -hmm. Street. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Peter mm -hmm. Baker. How are you? That's it. That's it. That's what I do every time. Oh my god. So I just don't know about all of the because the ticket prices are really expensive and i do think they put a hold on them and then they start weeding them out and they start selling them at reduced prices as time goes on i i don't i don't think these venues really truly sell all those tickets i think our generation i don't think all the, i don't i really don't believe all these shows are being sold out i really don't my own personal opinion and it's just my own i'm i'm sorry because you know, it, it costs a lot to go to these shows. It's yeah. expensive. And then staying overnight. Yeah. It, it's a lot. It's the a lot. Transportation to get there. Well, then you it's get not there, like we're getting a limo. Just do you get there and the concert's canceled. Well, and you gotta eat. Right. And then hey. the concert's oh, oh guess, yeah. guess who? Let's talk about them for a who? second. Who are you talking about now? So the guess who? who, I guess a couple of nights ago, their yeah. show in Florida yeah. was canceled due to was it copyright out? Is that what they said? No, due to that guy. What was Burton it? Cummings. Yeah, BC. Yeah. Whatever. And yeah. Mm, anyway, uh, I anyway. Won't, I won't even go there. <laughs> but, you know, right. here's the thing. The guess who has been performing for how many years now? And if it's if if that but, is not their name, if they should be performing as like the guess. Who DBA ooh. is the guest? No. I don't know. No. Like, oh, no. the former guest. No. If then, then they no. should be. No. Then they should be told to change their there's name. A, I, I don't know. I don't know. A, I think a, those guys are great. There's a lot of true fans out there, and they can't use names of the original. However, however, Gary Peterson is the original member of the guest host, but he doesn't the, own anything. All the, I don't the, think the, that's a problem. Allegedly, then. that's a problem. 
But if he does it only the rights or whatever, that's a problem. Because what is it? BC but, but, and Randy Bachman. But, 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 but they own the rights. They have a legitimate then, right. But well, guess who have been performing for like 10 years or that's more? That's what I'm saying. And the show is great. However, if Gary doesn't own any rights, he should be using the name. I'm just saying. I mean, they're great, but I don't know. I I don't know. To me, but but, but, but what did I, I say? Think... What did I say? I don't mean to do it. What did I say to you last night? If it wasn't for us seeing the guess who the guess who was on stage now, is that we wouldn't even be thinking about their music. I know. I mean, we it's wouldn't true. Even, we wouldn't be thinking about laughing and all these other great songs. They're they, they keeping they, it alive. They man. keep it going. Yeah. And let me tell you, Mister B, Mister B C. Hello, are you there? Listen, BC, it's because of the group that's out there now. You are getting royalties on the radio stations that are playing the guest show. Hello? Because you can sit back and you whatever, but you are getting royalties because the music that's being played on radio stations, not many people play the guest show, but we play guest show occasionally. You get little royalties on there. So it's probably paying for your hamburger at Wendy's, okay? Or, or let's face facts, the people that go to these shows. Yeah. They get so excited because it's such a great show. Let me go and buy a Guess Who CD. Let right. me download right. a Guess Who album. Right. Let me do that. And and it all goes back in the same pot. Right. I, I just don't understand. Like if if there is a legal issue, then he just he just saw that he's not making money now. But but you know what? Again, uh, you know. They've been doing it for 10 years, and this has only been happening for a year or so. No, a couple of years. I think, it's been, a, years I think it's been a couple of years now. But the, the present group, they do a great job. They do. Very good entertainment. They're awesome. Very good I mean, I wouldn't entertaining. be mad at it. Don't be mad at it. Well, work something out, dude. Listen, exactly. Don't, don't put it on exactly. Some, don't put it out on Ultimate Classic Rock. All oh, the guests are I mean, like, because of world, because of copyright laws. We can't perform in concert tonight. Well, you know what? I understand all that. However, d- don't do that. Life's too short. Because BC and all you other guys, you're going to be dead in five years. It's not going to make any difference. And guess who's going to be listening to your music? Nobody. Guess who? The present guess who are keeping your traction alive. They're keeping your story alive. Yeah. They making they're people. A bunch of great they're, guys they're, they're great guys, but they're also bringing back the memories mm-hmm. when you used to be with the group. You remember when BC used to be there? He was great too. It's just like, you know, six to six. Lawrence God does a great job, but they're also thinking, thinking you know, Dennis the Young was great. He's yeah. keeping the traction going. It's like Lou Graham is fantastic. Kelly has been able to keep Florida going for a long time because the traction has been going because he does a good job with it. Yeah, what's, going, mean, on? what's little, going on with Dennis the Young? Has anyone heard from him? I don't know. Like, he's probably relaxing, having an ice cream cone. He's probably sleeping right now. He's been quiet lately. Well, well there's no need for him to be out there. He's enjoying well, here's life. the thing with the guess who situation. Try, try to you know come to an agreement, you know, and and make it work for everybody. Like, go on the positive side of it right. instead of being angry about it. Right. And try to make it work right. for everybody. Right. But but again, be positive about it. And, and what you do behind closed doors, you don't have to put it out there. Oh, I'm showing you out there. Listen, dudes, we understand all that stuff. You know, pick up the phone. Or actually, better yet, go see them. Listen. You know, I own the rights to the name. Okay, you do. All right. So when we go out in concerts, we should give you a little piece of the action. Does that suffice you? No. I want to listen, dude. You can't perform anymore. That's fine. Okay. I mean, they're making the the present guess who is making money off the guess who name. There's no there's no question about that. They've come up with new music, which is great, but they're keeping. The legacy alive. True. The legacy True is still that. living. How many rock groups have been doing that? A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Foreigner, Journey. Yeah, everybody. I, I mean, so many people. And so many. Leonard, Leonard Skinner, you know, and, and a lot right. of people, even though a lot of people put Leonard Skinner down, oh, there's no original members. Okay, but, but they still, still see them. They, they're still, they they're still, still go. Out. People they're still, are still going. Still out. You know? People are so excited. I'm going to see Leonard Skinner this year. Well, no, a lot no, of people. No, no original yeah. members are with that band anymore, are they? No. No, no. 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 But, but it's sad, but you know but what? they're going. They're people keeping the legacy going. alive. I mean, why do people see these true bands? Because they, because they bring them back to the time, makes them feel good. Like you said earlier, Kiki, a lot of people on the chat here said today, music is therapy. Music is good for the soul. Yeah. 
Soul it's Train. That's true. The River Riverbed. Great band. Oh, a lot of people. A, are lot mad. Of, a lot of people are mad at Little River Band. Well, I don't know why, but they're just angry at them, and it's weird. But I don't, yeah, I don't know what's well, going. I don't know what's going. But on. you can't. You know, you can't agree with everything. Let, let, let me just say something. Enjoy the concerts. We can go whatever. But best of all, put a record album on, or listen to the radio, or listen to the station that you enjoy. Okay, and that's the key. I mean, put it on and just. Man, this is good. Well, all right. So moving on um, to my next tab. If you live in Tennessee and you want to marry your first cousin, oh my God. it's going to get banned. Like you're not going to be able to do it. That's so I, I suggest you rush to the altar right now and go and marry your first cousin if that's what you feel like doing. Because Tennessee, they're like, you know what? It's not going to happen. And what just recently came that's out stubborn. was that. That's was stubborn. that. What? GOP Governor Bill Lee Billy. submitted a proposal that he's going to ban marriages between first cousins. Obviously, he's, he's very bored. If he comes know, aren't there son, other things? Isn't there other things to worry about? I, I'm just, worry about you know, marrying your first cousin? Who, who the hell's going to know anyway? And let me tell oh you, they, they voted 75 to 2 on the bill. So they approved it without any opposition. That's stupid. You it's mean, like, take we, care of the homeless. Homelessness uh, going on, no, 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 or you, you know, said, something you, like you that. said this is in Tennessee. Take care of the homeless. Take care of the people in the streets. Take care of the people who need help. Don't worry about someone marrying their their first cousin. Listen, maybe they're in love. Maybe they love each other. You're not going to take that away from them. If they want to marry their brothers and sisters or their mothers or fathers. Go love them. Who but, cares? You don't go Who marry cares? your mother and father, you, Al. What the you, heck? If you want to marry your Ew. dog, that's fine. No, you, you don't marry if your you dog. That's sleep, illegal. If you want to sleep with your dog, that's fine. Al, all right, you know wait I mean? a minute, Al. All right, Al, you need to go have a snack because now you need to rein it in and and step back for a minute. Okay, thanks. Like, go have a grape or some, banana, something. So one Republican, I can't. Like, I can't control that. That's just that has nothing to do with me. He is his own whatever. And I apologize for that. So Republican Representative Gina Bolso, she was like the angriest. And she said that first cousin marriages should be allowed if they get counseling from a genetic counselor. So in other words, you know, if, if you want to marry your first cousin, like you're really passionate about, like, I need to marry my first cousin. She's saying you need to go to a genetic counselor to make sure they don't have three eyes, maybe a horn, something like something just to make sure it's all going to be okay. And you know, the consequences. And that's, so if you, if you live in Tennessee, there you go. That's what's going on in Tennessee, which I was kind of surprised at. And then on to other news. So y'all know that O.J. Simpson passed away at the age of 76. That came out yesterday. And if his assets do go to court, the Goldman and Brown families will most likely be the first in line. Um, you know, Everybody has their feelings on the death of O.J. Simpson, and a lot of people are saying, good, about time. Um, he did die of prostate cancer. And, you know, my whole thing is when I heard that he had passed away, I said, no one's ever really going to know the truth now. He died with the truth in his heart. And even though he denied he did it and he was acquitted. He knows. And it, it's, it's gone forever now. It's just very, very sad and devastating. And Al and I were talking about how, you know, watching the white Bronco go down the highway. I mean, that was what days just, sitting there and watching the, the TV and, and them trying that slow speed chase. It was a low speed chase. It was crazy. The craziest thing ever. And nowadays they probably could just, they would just get him. But he passed away yesterday 
and he did not pay the $33.5 million judgment that a California civil jury awarded to the families of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and the family of her friend, Ron Goldman. OJ was acquitted, but he was found liable in 1997 for a wrongful death suit. So what happens is, you know, I don't even know, I don't think it's even been released yet if OJ left a will, but allegedly Simpson's assets will have to go through a probate court because of everything that is lingering. And also he has four children and there are other heirs that could come after his estate. So the case is filed in the state where the person was living when they passed and he passed away in Nevada. If significant assets are in California or Florida, where he also lived, separate cases could also pop up there. Now, let's see about his net worth. I don't think there was much of anything left. Yeah, it looks like he passed with $114 million in debt to the Goldman family, which is crazy. And Ron Goldman's father, his attorney, said that O.J. Simpson owes the Goldman family more than $100 million before he passed. And... Let's see. It has grown. The, the amount has grown from the thirty-three and a half million that was awarded in nineteen ninety-seven because of interest. Holy moly! And David Cook, who represents Ron Goldman, said that he died without penance. He did not want to give a dime, a nickel to Fred. Never anything. Never. And I'm sure the Goldman family wasn't about the money. It was about the principle of the entire thing. I mean, they lost their son. This was a senseless, senseless murder. Um, and, and my gosh, the 911 calls from Nicole Simpson and how nothing was ever done. It is so beyond sad. And, you know, you just have to pray that loss got stronger since then because that poor woman. I mean, I mean, she called 911 continuously. And I believe the last one, and they play it a lot um, online. She's like, you know who I'm talking about. You know, it's O.J. Simpson. You know, you've been here before. I mean, that, that shouldn't even be a sentence in anyone's vocabulary. You've been here before. You know? Let's see. So previous lawyers tried to get pensions that Simpson received from the NFL, but nothing happened with that. And lawyers also tried to get the money from Simpson's trusts, but that, that just never happened. And they did, the Simpson, I, I guess, no, the Goldman family did win something. They got the the rights to a book that Simpson wrote called if I did it. And they made some money from the sales of that book, but it probably wasn't very much. So they're hiring a turn. They're, they're going to hire attorneys to see what can possibly be done. Mm -mm -mm. And it all depends on what Ron Goldman's dad wants to do next. And Ron's dad said, this is just a reminder for us of how long Ron has been gone, how long we have missed him, and nothing more than that. That is the only thing that is important today. It is the pain from then until now. There is nothing today that is more important than the loss of my son and the loss of Nicole. Nothing is more important than that. And it's true. Um, you know, and like I said, I don't think for the, the Goldman family, 
or anybody. It was about the money. It was just about justice at that point. And um, people have their opinions about his death, and I don't see anyone being sad about it. That's all I can say. Nobody. Yeah, no one's sad about it. But OJ will get what he deserves now. Well, well, I don't know, Al, because, mm. you know, he left this earth holding all of that information within him. And if anything, yeah, he, sh he should have at least admitted it. He yeah. should have at least just to give closure to the families. Everybody and knows the real story. We all know. We all know. You know, the whole glove hey, thing. He, what the he heck? Just, he had some high priced lawyers that were defending him. And he, uh, he got off the first time for, for being not guilty. But then he, he was in jail for a robbery, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Hola, Luzia. But, but, Hola. But, 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 but again, you know, it's sad. Like everybody's chatting here. Everybody remembers the, 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 the race of the highway with the Jeep and everything else. And it's just, uh, it's sad. It's sad that somebody could put themselves in that position to do such a horrific thing to other human beings. Yeah. But you know what? You know, I saw the threat came out and people said, oh, no, OJ Simpson's dead. I would say, Jay Simpson's dead. And they, nobody, like, they're not sad about it because, you know, obviously, he's just a horrible human being. I mean, everything looks like he was guilty, right? Yes, yes, everybody says he's guilty. And again, he has some high priced lawyers that spun around, spun around, spun around. Remember the stupid smirk on his face? Hey, I'm off. Well, you know what? What goes around comes around. Yeah. And it's coming around right now for him. And, you know, it, 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 it's a horrible. I, uh, I, but he had grandchildren? I, I don't get that. Do you? How can he have grandchildren? What do you mean? O.J. Simpson had grandchildren? Well, he had he has kids. I mean, oh, kids, that's right. kids yeah. are older now. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Your, your grandchildren for your, your kids. I forgot that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That happens, though. <laughs> I just realized that. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I say your grandchildren. I was saying, how the hell does he have grandchildren? Well, Al, he has kids. Uh, thanks for giving me updated key. He has, he has children. The, the problem is I just had a banana. And it just it threw me out for How do you time. have a snack? I want a snack. Okay. You want a banana? No. I don't think uh, I want a banana. I think I want a Belvita. Can you get me one? Uh, let me see. This is what Don and James have pressed. Let me go to the cafeteria. That might be something for a couple weeks ago. Hang on. I'll be right back. Right, wait. Don't get me the chocolate one, though. Oh, my God. Because then I'll get my teeth all chocolatey. Uh, let me see what I can find. All right? You know where it is. I can say it again. I'm very, very. So there's going to be a Michael Jackson biopic. Um, and, you know, not for anything. I love me, Michael Jackson. I adore his music. I loved him. You know, all these things are, you know, came out after he passed away. I love Michael Jackson. I do. Um, but how many movies can come out about him? Really, just like Whitney Houston. I love her too. But holy moly, like there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of movies. And after you've watched five or six, it's like they're all the same. How, what other different information are you releasing by doing that? Now, the Elvis one, I have to say that was pretty good. I mean, I did watch it twice. And and like I was, I was kind of underwhelmed when I first watched it. But I did watch it again, and it was it was pretty good. I think just because it was kind of glitzy, and Tom Hanks was in it, and it was just good. But Michael Jackson, another biopic coming out. Um, there was a sneak peek of the movie that's coming out next April of next year. And Michael Jackson's nephew, Jafar Jackson, is, I guess, going to play Michael. So, I mean, that's that's kind of cool for him. Oh, thank you, Al. You're very sweet. What is this now? Can I see? I don't know. Can I, let me see if everybody can see that because I don't. 
Yep. There you go. <laughs> it's in my, it's in my ear. That's very nice. Thank you. Can I, can I have it now? Give me the cookie. Give me the, give me the cookie. No, don't open it. I want to open it because I open it a special way. I'm weird. Don't open it. You're so weird. If you crack that cookie, don't break the cookies. Don't break. You need hand cream. Your, your hands are so dry. Give me that. Give me the cookie. <sighs> but he doesn't want to come on camera. This, this is my life, people. Give me the cookie. Give me the... Don't put it over there. Give me the cookie. Please give me the cookie. Cookie. <laughs> Bye. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Lord help me. So there you go. So another Michael Jackson biopic out of, I don't know how many. How many are there? there there's a lot. Who's that? No, right. We're going to close out of that tab. Now, this was kind of interesting. Can I have a bite of my cookie? All right, I'm going to have a bite of my cookie and look at the comments. How's that? Healthy snack advice from Kickin' Al. He's ridiculous. So this one is, oh, so I'm getting back on these now, Belvedas. Do you guys like Belveda crackers, cookies? Oh, my gosh, they're my fave. This one is the cranberry orange. I love it. I love the chocolate, but I feel like I'll have chocolate all in my teeth, and it'll be kind of embarrassing. But these are really good. They kind of taste like trick cereal a little bit. Like just a smidge. Mm. And they're just enough to say, you know what? I'm not hungry anymore. What do we have? For dinner, we had a chicken wrap. You know, from the market basket rotisserie chicken. And I'll have corn on the cob. And the corn from Market Basket, really good, really tasty. But I put sugar in my water anyway, so it definitely makes it good. Nancy said she's going to have to try them. I'm telling you, try them. They're really good. And they're just good for something. You want a little something, but it's nothing hardcore. And Scott says he loves that flavor. I'm telling you, it's so good. So good. thank you, Candy. You're very sweet. And um, Candy says, I have seen those kind of cookies, but I can't have them because I'm a type 2 diabetic, no sugar. I'll poopy. Well, you know what, Candy? The cool thing about the internet now, there's so many recipes online that are sugar-free and are very satisfying. So that's the great thing about the internet. The internet can have its downfalls, but there's really a lot of useful information. Mm hmm Satisfying. Mm. Like Kiki's cookies. Oh, Nancy said she got the corn on the cob from MB tonight. I'm it's so tasty. Right out? The market basket corn. Oh, so candy. Patty said it's good that creamer because she got New England coffee, the butter pecan, and I put that creamer with it. It's a match perfect perfection. What creamer do I use? I, I just bought Amaretto International Coffee. Amaretto creamer. Now, what are you eating? What are you eating, Al? Knock, knock. What are you eating? Apparently, he can't hear me. What? Kathy said she's going to Piggly Wiggly. We yeah. don't have those here. I got a cookie in my sponge. That's disgusting. I don't well, have a cookie in my sponge. What do they have a the piggly wiggly uh, bacon? Oh, I bet they do have bacon. What's a piggly wiggly? That's a supermarket. It is. Mm -hmm. That's an odd name for a store. I think it's a fun name. No, that's weird. Just like Wawa's, we don't have Wawa's. Wawa. Mm. We have Cumberland Farms. We go to the shop today. Wawa, and then I'm going to piggly wiggly. <laughs> so, so dirty. No, it so doesn't. Dirty. No, it doesn't. Mommy, let's go to Wawa. Hi, Wawa. Excuse me. Good for you, Candy. People are actually listening to us eat. This is called 
I didn't say it. I was really hungry. I had to have a little something. Uh, I have a little something, something. Uh, and you know what? I haven't bought Cool Whip in a few weeks. I need to buy some more Cool Whip. Yeah, yeah, I do. I need to buy some more Cool Whip. Ew. You're messed up. Uh, I got a burp. They can't. Um, they'd be rude. All right, I'm going to finish this cookie and go to another tab. What the hell is a tab? Tabs are all my stories right here. Can't see them, though. Because they're tabs. Al hates my tabs. I like my tabs. Healthy sacrifice from Kick It Out. What? What is healthy? What advice? Get the cookie out. Yeah, ready? Stand by. Open his mic and give him. What? Healthy snack of ice from Kick It Out. That sounded like crap. That didn't sound good. Didn't sound good at all. I thought you said healthy sex advice from Kick It Out. <laughs> well, that'd be a topic. I'm like healthy sex advice from Kick It Out. Right, one, one more cookie. <laughs> one more cookie. Oh my god. And then I'll finish. Yeah. I'll, I'll go you know, Fog had they saw a condom in the store. Mm. It's called Slow Ride. Right. I don't know what that means, but it's, it's a song that Fog had did for many years. Slow Ride. They actually put in the store a condom mm-hmm. called Slow Ride. It's a good seller too. It's a good seller for yeah. the uh, older generation. Yeah, but it doesn't work. How do you know? Well, I mean, How do you know it doesn't work? Did you ask people? Did you take no, a poll? No, I have an inside scoop. From who? From people who use it. <laughs> they use it. And they still, get pregnant. They get, they get pregnant, right. That's right. Because what happens is they use the slow oh ride. No, listen, get key. <laughs> Focus. They use the slow ride condom for fog end. It doesn't work. And for using it, they are known as a fool in the city. I don't know anyone our age who's pregnant. What? what I don't saying? know anyone our age who's pregnant. No. That was really good. Thank you for letting but, me but, take but, that but break, the, everybody. The new song that uh, Foggy has on their album called Drive It On, that's a good song. That's a great but song. We play it in rotation. It's mm. a good song. No, it's a great song. Yeah. Yes. And I'm not really about the new stuff. I'm not gonna lie. No, it's good. I like the hits, the favorites. I'm no, all about I do. it. Some new stuff out there is okay. Nah. Love, love it's crap. I, I I really like the the classic hits. Yeah. I mean I do. No, let's just say this though. I'm not gonna lie. No, let's just say this. We talk about bands, we talk about Boston, Aerosmith. You talk about Foreigner, you talk about Journey. Mm-hmm. Have any of those groups produced new hits? No, nobody. There's no new hits from anybody. Nobody's played new hits. They make new music. Okay, a new album. Okay, that's great. But nobody's played that. Yeah, but so. like we said, though. Why? The last Fog Hat show we went to, people were all about driving on. That was, and the audience, they were, they were freaking out over it. Well... They maintain a very steady, steady climb, a very steady status on Billboard's charts for a long time. Yeah. Like almost 40 weeks now. That's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. And they were very gracious enough to let us play driving on before anybody else in the nation got yeah. to play it. And they said, yeah, you can play it. We're, we premiered driving on like he of them. And it's been going for a long time. And I'm telling you, when we saw Farcat up in Lynn, Massachusetts, it was phenomenal. They were great, weren't they? They were they were awesome. They were really good. And, and Scott and, says he likes third time lucky. That's his favorite. And Patty right. said Bon Jovi's new single Legendary. She loves that. I haven't heard that, have you? Mm-mm, I've not heard I have it. to listen to that. But uh, Scott your third time luck is a good song by Farcat. It's really good. Yeah. Farcat is out there they, they make their eye they, they're such good showmen 
and they they they're kicking ass, man. I know they are kicking. I ass. know the all, right. all the members of the group. All right, so let's talk about Jennifer Lopez because she has gotten a wrath of stuff the past couple of weeks. Now, you guys must have heard about the whole P Diddy thing. So now, let me go back over to the live stream. So J Lo dated Diddy in 99 and i think she dated him until about 2001 so allegedly she gave him the that he used in a nightclub well allegedly he used in nightclub pow pow back in 99 and it was never said that he did it but she gave him the thing to to, to do the thing that was allegedly happened from allegedly him. And this woman came out and said, I saw him do it and I can prove it because I still have nine fragments in my face from the shot that he shot somebody else with. So, and then, J so JLo was like directly involved in that. All right, so everybody's like now looking at her going, whoa, because they, they did get in trouble for like 14 hours, but nothing ever happened. And I guess J-Lo's shows are not selling. She had to cancel seven of them because of really poor ticket sales. And now the poor ticket sales was before this whole G Mule thing came out. And I'm like, why is j-lo tickets why are they not selling like i love j-lo but now there's a whole different light being shed upon her and also she released this movie and what's it called let's see i don't have the platform that was on oh it's called let's see da -da -da. This is me. This is me is the name of her tour. It's doing terribly with ticket sales. But what's the name of the movie? Um, the greatest love story ever told. Is that what it is? The first film, This Is Me Now, A Love Story, is a romantical musical tour of her album. The second has the rather self-important title, The Greatest Love Story Never Told. I think that's what's out now. And that's a behind the scenes documentary about the creation of her album with a focus on her relationship with Ben Affleck, finding her way, their way back to each other. And she talks about her personal growth and her struggle to find a suitable romantic partner because she's had a lot of partners. Like it's, it's been a lot. I, I mean, Jenny from the block has been around the block. The greatest love story never told. Okay, there it is. And it's on Prime. I don't have Prime. It's expensive. I don't have it. I want to get it, though. I think I might get Prime, like do the free 30-day trial, just so I can see what all the hype is about. Because, like, people are making fun of it left and right on TikTok. I mean, they are. There are so many things about J-Lo, like, like sketches about J-Lo on TikTok. And, and she's sitting in a gym and her hair is all messy. She's like, this reminds me when I was 16 year old, you're walking in the Bronx. I'm like, I don't know what's so funny about that, but people find it hilarious. So I don't know. Candy says she remembers all that nightclub stuff when J-Lo was dating Diddy. Yeah, like, mm. like big stuff. Oh, so what's, wait a minute. So Candy said that Steve Perry just posted something on Instagram. So let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, he posted Ross Valerie. So he said, Ross Valerie released his solo record today. He, along with Steve Smith, were the backbone driving rhythm section of Journey. Without them, it would have not been possible. Check out his record. So he is totally just promoting Ross Valerie's new record, which is very nice of Steve because Steve doesn't do anything like that. And can I just say, Journey's been a little quiet, don't you think? 
there's been a little, you know, not much saying of anything of anything. So you got to wonder, is there anything going on behind the scenes? Maybe sort of, you don't know. And Steve pumping, he's pumping Ross, you know, there yeah, was, the- I, I listened to the song. We talked about the last night. It's a nice song. There's a lot of saxophone in this song too. It's very jazzy. It's very jazzy. It's a nice listening song. I mean, I like it. Um, it's it's kind of out there, but I like it a lot. And you know, it's very nice to Steve to promote Ross at the same time promoting Steve Smith too, saying they're the backbone of Journey back then. Yeah, really, really. It's very nice to do that. Yeah, but they got a lot of they got a lot of good backbone now. Yeah, so do. you know, and and that's where, you know, like we were talking earlier mm, about interesting tribute bands. Oh, wait a right. It'd be right. interesting to see if Steve Perry goes out with Ross and Steve. No. Yes. I don't think so. Why not? I really don't. I Why? Steve doesn't have to do anything. Just go and I, I don't think he's yeah. going to be. He's not going to tour anymore. That's not going to. That's mm. like that's off the record. It's yeah, it's right. just it's just off off yeah, the. That's right. He doesn't need to do, he doesn't need to do no, it. Do he it. can go no. and enjoy himself, and he, he can go see these people perform, right? And hang out with them right. and enjoy them, and that's where his life is at right now. You know, he doesn't have to have all the sweat and tears in it. What a class act. What a class act he for is. He really is. He really is. And he doesn't, let's face it, guys, Steve doesn't post much about anything. No. So he's very fussy and yeah. picky about what right. he chooses to post about. We'll talk about the other thing in a little bit. And I will say another thing I'm quite excited. Well, no, I'm going to talk about this first. The Golden Bachelor. Remember, we were talking about that a while ago. Oh. So they got married. The Golden Bachelor, he was like, I don't know. Jer- no, Gary. His name's Gary Turner. And he picked his his woman, Teresa Nist. So they got married three months ago on the show, The Golden Bachelor. The first time they ever did this, like a show about senior citizens getting hitched up. Oh and all the women, like in their 50s and 60s and 70s, throwing themselves at this Gary guy. I oh thought his God. name was Jerry, but it's Gary. Da, da, da. Oh nice man. He seems like a very nice man. Lost his wife. You know, I'm sorry. Mm. And he 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 picked Teresa. Now they're getting right. divorced. It's been what, three what? months. He picked Teresa. They got married. Now they're already filing for divorce. Divorce. Why? It's, it's divorce time. Maybe because it's for TV. Ratings. You know, it's, it's for just TV like ratings. it's all for TV ratings. And, and, and Gary said, Teresa and I have had a number of heart to heart conversations. We've looked closely at our situation, our living oh, situation, Lord. whatever the heck that means. Like your living situation. If you live together, great. You know, everything's cool. And we've come to the conclusion mutually that it's probably time for us to dissolve our marriage. Three months. Gary is oh, 72. 72, how do you do? And I mean, like. Oh, Teresa. I don't know. She's got to be. I think she's she's seventy. Oh, really? Hmm. I mean, she looks great. For Why? God's sakes, she looks really good. Do you think Teresa and uh, what's the guy's name? Gary. Gar- Gary. He, Gary. You think, Gary. You think they were gonna get married again? You know, here's the thing. What's the thing? I would say, listen. You listen. know, just just have fun. Right. Just go out there. Don't be married. Just have, have a good time. You, a good you time. don't. You don't need to do that. You know, sit with, I, sit I with mean, each other. Have a good time. You know. Have a companion. You have a companion. God dang! To go yeah. through all that nonsense yeah. again. Have a wedding. Who's coming? Yeah, but, but, Who's but, but, not coming? Who's but, but, talking but, but, to who? Keep, but, keep, I got to have it a it's separate table. For, it's all for ratings. It's like the desert housewives. Okay. The oh, real the, housewives. Oh, whatever. They get yeah. married. Okay. Oh, divorce. That's that's enough for another season. I mean, that's what it's all about. They get paid a lot of money. I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. I mean, if they were happy, look, 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 that's look, awesome. Look, look at the little people. They're making a lot of money, money, right? They've been doing the little people show for so long. Well, now, that's and, and, and that's going to change now, yeah. too. Does anybody watch yeah. Little People, Big World, yeah. my fave? The cookies are in my throat. Well, turn your mic off, man. You can't be like, like you can't do that while your mic's on. Turn Sorry your mic that. off. But mic goes off. I gross. I should do that. You shouldn't. Uh, no, I'm not and you couldn't. It's terrible. It's yeah. horrible. Yeah. So Little People, Big World, they've got um, 
Tori and Tori. Zach, they're yeah. leaving with their kids. They're not going to be on the show anymore. They're like, that's it. We're done. So I don't know how that show is going to go on. I no, just don't. It's done. But it's been on the air for how many years? I don't. A long I time. I love that show, though. I love it. And what's, uh, what's the father's name? What's his name? Ron? Ron, Ron Matt. Ron, Matt. <laughs> what's uh, Matt? His wife's name is Amy. Amy. Well, his ex wife is Amy. Yeah. Now he's going to be married. It's so, it's so weird that they hang out together. You know, they do these things together. It's for TV. They, it's for TV. They don't want to. You can tell no. they don't want to. She, Karen no. totally doesn't want to. And Amy's just doing it, it do because think, of the do TV. Do you think they show. got divorced because uh, what's well, the guy Matt was screwing around with? Uh, what's her name? Well, Karen. No, no. Get Karen. I because mean, she worked for them for so many years, right? Did. So, they you did. know. While the kids and Amy were taking care of the kids, uh, Matt and uh, what's the girl's name again? Karen. Karen was like doing it in the barn. It's the, it's, you know, well, I don't know about that, Al. Um, right. You know, that's that's a great thought. But um, you know, they, they could have been. I don't know. Uh. But I just think everybody's happy now. That's fine. Good for you. Good for y'all. That's great. But like in the case of the Golden Bachelor... That's the way they go to Bachelor. So it's not like they're, ready. It's not like they're ready to die. It's just like three months in and you're already divorced. Why did you get married then? For Why TV did you get married? Like, how did you, you know, they're I not just, divorced. They're probably sleeping together right now. I don't know. That's baloney. I just wouldn't do That's that. That's BS. Hey, Jenny, what's up, girl? It's BS. Jenny, I got your number. No, it's just BS. They're sleeping. I don't think it's BS. They're in bed right now. <laughs> They're sleeping. Well, yeah, they're sleeping. They're tired. Yeah, they're tired. They're 70 years old. 70 years wonder, old. Exhausted. That's right. I'm exhausted. I'm not even 60 and I'm tired. Is that normal? Help what? me. What? Everybody tell me, is it normal to be tired? Yes. Happens when you get older, Kiki. Oh, I hate it, though. Steven Tyler right now is sleeping. Oh, let's talk about Steven Tyler. Lou, Lou Graham is sleeping. You want to talk about Steven Tyler? Is, is Lou Graham performing tonight? I don't know. I don't know. He so, performed this past week, though. Aerosmith, I think he only does weekends, though. He only performs in the weekends. So Aerosmith has, just like Foghat, they, they tour a lot, but they only perform in the weekends. So Aerosmith has announced the rescheduled dates for their Peace Out farewell tour. Peace Out. Remember, last September, it was abruptly canceled yeah. because Steven Tyler had ongoing vocal problems, and he fractured his larynx. Ouch. Wow, that wow, had to wow. hurt. And it took a lot of care. It's going to happen again. He can't. Listen, he's great or whatever. He hits those high notes again. He's out for the count. It's okay to hold it against him. Well, here's and the thing. Why? They got 40 dates scheduled. Yeah, but you know 40. what? 40. They're going to play. They're going to be playing back tracks, which is fine. With three new shows. But, but you know In what? addition to the play rescheduled the back dates. Track. He doesn't have to hit the high notes anymore. Just mouth it, dude. So it's, like it's, kicking, it's kicking off, Kick it off in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh on September 20th. September 20th. And it's going to be going all around the United States Nine. and Canada. Very busy. Cause it's going to be at Madison Square Garden. It ends in Montreal at the Bell Center on January 26th. That's right. Christopher's birthday in 2025. And there's also going to be a special hometown show in Boston on New Year's Eve. I saw 2024. that. That's insane. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be freaking but, uh, amazing. But I don't think, I, I, be honest with you, uh, I would love. I that. don't think Stephen Todd's gonna be able to last out long, which is fine. We can, you know. I love him. Dude, listen, dude, love him. You know, what? rest yourself. I mean, he's seventy-seven years old. How old he is? Just enjoy your life, man. You, you've done your time. People can listen to the record. Just go on stage and say. Thank you for coming. Just get on stage and tell a story. Here's he the doesn't thing. have to sing anymore. Listen, if Steven Tyler came to the family park and just started talking to people, it'd be fine. No. It wouldn't because yes, they wouldn't be able to yes, hear him. Yes, it would. No it be yes, okay. No. Be because people would feel intimate with Steven Tyler. No. Listen. It's not going to work. It's going to work. Mm -mm. Yes, it is. Not with a crowd like that. No, no way. Yeah, yes. Even when, when, all right, when we're have respect for the guy. He's losing his voice. You know, uh, you know, don't want to see anything happen to him, right? You you don't want to see him hit one of those vocal ranges that he'll never be able to come back from again. And now the show continues with kicking out. And now the show continues continues with Gina Thomas on Kiki.fm. Hey Gina, how are you? Hey. 
no, it, should, it would not work in a big arena like that with him just talking to people because people would be like, Why? ah, like, no. Yeah, that's just, no, no, listen, mm -mm. nobody would have any problem with that was her. They would. They would. They, they would. would not no, no, sit no. there and listen to him talk for two hours. It's that's not going to happen. Not two hours. Maybe 45 minutes. Not going to happen. Listen. It's not a book signing. Hey, it's, no, it's, a, no, no, it's, no, no, it's a show. No, listen, would you... Will you go see Steven Tyler talk somewhere? Absolutely. Yeah, but not Absolutely. in a venue like that. Well, do it somewhere else. It's not going to happen. Dude, dude, he was still solid saying, I see that Tyler. I just want to talk to you. He, oh, it's fine. God. It's fine. Listen, he's going to be 80 soon. You think he's going to still be singing like Mick Jagger? Probably not. Mick Jagger is doing great, though. Let's face facts. Um, I mean, the guy looks awesome. And how old is he? Oh. How old is Mick, everybody? Like Help 84, me. 84, 85, I don't know. No, he's not 84. I think he's 80. just, is he 80? Is he 80? How old is, is, go, he how old is his girlfriend? 25? 25? I don't yeah. know. Oh, uh, She must really like him. Oh, so Jenny's going to see Voyage tomorrow night with Hugo. That's going to be fun. Yeah, Voyage is a uh, uh, journey trivia band, which is, they're very good. I should say true, but they're very good traction. They give a good show, and they do a great job. Yeah, like I... You know, again, I would love to see Aerosmith. I cannot afford their tickets. Even the cheap seats are Scott really expensive. Even, if Scott didn't go to another concert this year, he might be a little. So, older. Scott, I have Scott, a question. If Scott. you're still here, no, he's not here, are they doing? Are they doing a Fenway show and then a New Year's Eve show, or is it, or, or is it just one show? They can't, first of all, Key, they can't do a Fenway show on New Year's Eve. Why? Because it'd be outside. So what? Well, maybe maybe snowing, maybe That's cold. That's fun. How fun would, is that? I mean, would you, That'd be fun. Would you watch your ass to get wet? Yeah. You know, like, oh, that you, would be fun. Aerosmith on no, New Year's Eve outside. No. Oh, my God. Is it a TD Garden? That'd be amazing. Is it still called TD Garden? I don't mm -hmm. know. It is. It is? Oh, is one, it, show, it, one show at TD So right. the New Year's Eve show is at TD Garden. Yeah. It used to That's be called awesome. Boston Garden. Boston Garden, yeah. yeah. They tore it down. Like, that's going to be a great show. Boston. Though. New Year's Eve, mm. Aerosmith, like once in a lifetime, because that's it. That's good. It, that's going to be the end of it. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's not going to be any more. But, you know, even if he gets on stage, he just talks. It's fine. No, he's not going to just talk, Al. That's not happening. Now, Kenny says she loves a song by Stephen Tyler, Angel. We played that You're about. As I was saying before, I was interrupted. But two days ago, I was playing Key Dive M. Why are you talking? Come and save me tonight. Come and save me tonight. Come and save me tonight. You're my hey, 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 angel. Come and save me tonight. I love that song. That's a good one. You so, get close to the microphone. Scott, yeah. I didn't get close because you tell me I break it. So no, Scott yeah, says, I haven't bought a ticket, but never say no. I know because you might get a good Angel. price at the last minute, Scott. You don't know. You know the song I like by Aerosmith is Cry. I love that song. I was crying. No, stop, Keegan. Now I'm done. Forget you. Your love is sweet misery. When, when I met you, now I'm done. When I met you, do what you do, what you do, what you do, baby, baby, baby. When you sing like that, I don't miss a thing. <laughs> can, can you believe? Their song "Sweet Emotions" is number one classic rock song. I believe time. it. Why? Could, it should be. Yeah. It should be. It's a good song. It's a yeah. great song. Yeah. They had a lot of good hits. Sing women, you know sing for the year, sing for the laughter, sing for the dear. Sing women just for today. Remember tomorrow, the good Lord will take you away. Sing women, sing for the year, sing for the laughter, sing for the dear. Sing women just for today. Remember tomorrow, the good Lord will take it away. Hey, 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 yeah. You know what I like from them is love in an elevator. Love in an elevator. Love in an elevator going down. Love in an elevator. Love in an when I hit the ground. And it there. 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 
You know, the, the thing when I hear that song, I can think of people go up in an elevator and hitting the stop button <laughs> and just doing what they have to do and just no. go. I thought you were going to no. say they they go all the way up and no. then they just push the button no, and come no, all the way but back down. There's one song where I forget the name of the song by Aerosmith. He burps at the end. He goes like that. That's a good one. What song is that? Uh, oh my God, we play it too. We play it all oh, the time. No, eat the rich. Eat the rich. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That song. Eat the they, rich. But that song is like almost six minutes long. But I always wait for the crescendo at the end. Go, it goes. Uh, that's great. I love it. How, how do you do that on cue? Uh, Ow! I'm like, see, no, I, I can do anything. Oh you can tell me to do anything key. I can do anything on cue. Cry. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. That's not a real cry, though. <laughs> do a real cry. <laughs> <laughs> run around, run around. Can you stop it? I'm tired. I can't do this stuff. Oh, burping <laughs> etiquette with kicking out. I know, I know, Scott. Burping just... etiquette with kicking out. Did any of you guys watch Melrose Place? Seasons of. Raise your hand if you watch Melrose. Oh my Place. God. I loved oh God. that show. What was the other think... show? It was a takeoff of 90210, right? <laughs> well, kind of, yeah, sort of, but kinda. Heather Locklear. Yeah. It was just the best. Well, guess what? It's coming back. Did she really smell of garlic? People what? said she's a nice girl, but he got near her. She always stunk. She had, who? who? I don't know. That? Some guys who dated her. She always. What are you talking you know, about? She ate garlic, so people want to kiss her. No, I, I never yeah. heard of oh, that. Oh, my God. You, I you, never heard that. It was the National Enquirer. You didn't read National Enquirer. Oh, boy. All right. Well, Melrose Place is coming back for a reboot, which I'm excited about. And guess what? Heather Locklear is going to be in it. Laura Layton, she was the redhead. Daphne Zuniga. Like, I could see these women. They're all on board for a new chapter of Melrose Place. And it was like in West Hollywood or something like that. And that's going to be exciting because that was a great show. Will they be able to recapture and rekindle what they had then? I don't know. Heather's great. I mean, and that whole cast was just amazing. But she comes on screen. She just I stops the audience. Oh, I love her. Something about her eyes. Love, love, but love I always her. think about it. She smells like garlic. What know. the heck are you talking yeah. about? I've never heard that in my life. Didn't she uh, date somebody famous? Like a yeah, Jack Wagner. Who's he? Wait, wait, wait. What song did he sing? Wait. All I need is just a little more time. I believe. Is it all in my mind? It seems so hard to believe that you're all I need. He was on General Hospital. Really? Yep. It was a Laura and Luke, right? Luke and Laura. Um, but Luke. now I guess they tried to revive Melrose Place in two thousand and nine on the CW, but it only lasted a season. What's and CW? I think I remember that, but the I country it, was in TV. No, too. it's a network. For CW. Lord help me. Oh, the CW is that code? So, uh, CW means CW network. No, CW means continuous wave. Oh my god! That's what I learned in radio back in the day. CW. Can you do CW? Yes. Continuous wave. Continue. So anyway, so Melrose Place, I'll be looking for that because I just totally love it. So everybody knows that. All right. Steve Perry just put out something. Thank you to Candy for the Steve Perry alert that he is promoting Ross Valerie's single. Now let's share our screen. Okay. Right here because it's so fun. So fun. And the other day, all right, let's see if you guys can see that. Yes, you can. You can see it. The other day. Oh, look at that. Can you see it now? Those Japanese guys. I don't know, Al. For crying out loud. You're asking me all these questions. So Steve Perry put out um, a picture of him with Trev Lukather. And it says, me and Trev, Trevor Lukather. The effect band with Smashing Pumpkins, amazing great musicians. They sound huge. Sincerely, Steve Perry. So, like, he's looking, he's looking good. He's got a lot of hair. Like Steve Perry, like I want some of his hair because he's got a lot of it, and he's looking happy. But I find it amazing now. All of a sudden, he's promoting people, which 
is unusual for Mr. Perry, but I think it's great. Um, so Scott says the guy on Steve's left is James from Smashing Pumpkins. So that that's who you were referring to, Al. Candy, thank you. We're, we're happy to have you back. So, you know, it's it's just kind of a meet. And there was another picture. Trev Lukather put it out saying that Steve Perry was his roadie, which was interesting. And, you know, cute picture of, of Trev and Steve Perry. And, and we all love Steve Perry. But I think it's it's great that Steve is promoting others. And I do find it interesting. He's promoting um, Ross and Steve Smith. Um, because remember, there was that whole coup thing a few years ago and that that potential takeover that was trying to happen, but it didn't. It all fell apart. Yeah, what, what would have happened? Is I don't think true? it fell apart, really. I think that uh, uh, it was settled. So, Like everything else. Well, I mean, it should get settled, right? I mean, it shouldn't, you, you know, you can't you can't be mad forever. You guys can't fight. I mean, grow up. Come on. It's amazing how uh, Jonathan and Neil are getting these days, huh? Isn't that amazing how that's turned? Um, Isn't it amazing? But, well... You know, I'm not going to get into all that, but I think things have been quiet on that front. So I'm kind of wondering if anything's, you know, I hope everything's good. That's what I'm hoping. Life is short. Life is N way Neil's too Neil's wife is running some of the band, and Jonathan's wife is running some of the band. Together, so and, that's great, you and, know. And, that hopefully and Gina it's Thomas all is cool. the bomb. Gina Thomas is the bomb. Just hopefully it's all cool, copacetic. But I thought this was neat, too. So... Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Gina. Woot, 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 woot. woot. It goes right there to you. Kiki Next time I come. see you, Gina, I'm going to give you a hug. And hey, thank you to uh, thank you to everybody who has a membership as well. So right. we appreciate it. Again, it goes right to the radio station to keep it running because as retire. many of you have said in the comments, you love listening to the station. I love listening to I listen to it every single day I'm in my car. It is on in my car all the time we're playing great stuff and it's all because of this guy so okay. thank you very very much for keeping us on the air because because of you we get to keep doing what we uh, do uh, interesting thing though, i said this many times thought they'd be redundant but it's amazing to me at my age to have the radio station going but have people listening for a long period of time it just absolutely amazes me. Yeah. People listen an hour at a time, uh, two hours at a time, 20 minutes at a time. Most tracks at most radio stations at tops is nine minutes. That's it. That's crazy. And it just, just absolutely blows me away. And I mean this sincerely. We are heard. Kiki.fm is heard by thousands of people every, every day thousands of people every day throughout the country and throughout the world. Yeah. We thank each and every one of you for your loyalty and your support. We, we, La Rocco is uh, supportive of us. We support them too. Music means so much to each and every one of us. It's life. It's a big circle. Big circle. It's a big circle. Big. And, you know, this art little article I found, and I'm just going to share this with guys, so singing with your guitar is everything. Steve Luke, their son, recalls invaluable guitar advice from Journey Steve Perry. And this came out in February of this year. And Trev said, I knew Steve had a lot to do with those legendary Neil Sean melodic solos. And it's a whole article. So if you guys want to take a screenshot of this, it's from ultimateguitar.com. And he talks about, you know, Steve Perry and his influence on him and, you know, his guitar playing and all of that. So this is a pretty cool article and you might want to just take, take a look at it. But one of the things it says, Steve Perry has been a mentor to me since I was 20. We still talk all the time and he gives me solid advice. He said to me when I was trying to shred at 21, stop, what do you want in the front row, guys or girls? 
I laughed and replied, girls, of course. Well, Trev is married now to Jonathan Cain's daughter, so I don't think he wants that anymore. So he said, stop doing that and play the front row licks. Singing with your guitar is everything. Hence, while Neil Sean was a huge influence growing up listening to those Journey records. So, you know, definitely a really nice article. Again, take a screenshot of this if you like. And, you know, it's a quick read, but really nice how he gives kudos to Steve and um, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Candy, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, tonight. We really, truly appreciate it. You guys are the best. And we love you too, Patty. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Kitty, thank you. You're very nice to you, Kitty. And you don't have to do that, but I appreciate that. We're glad to have you all here. We're glad yeah. that you guys spend your Friday night with us. Why you want to be here, no. I don't I don't no. know. You spend, but we're you, glad you're you spend here. seven days a week with us. <laughs> you know, we're glad. And we have to be also thankful. To the great people at Beacon Communications. Absolutely. And they're a network of newspapers that were allowed that recently signed on with us, and we have signed on with them since last August of last year. They were all reminded the work Beacon, the Cranston Herald, and Johnson Sunrise, and also the wonderful news publication, the Jamestown Press and Jamestown Rhode Island. Absolutely. Be because of them and because of you, we stay on the air. Yep. And be because we know everyone enjoys music. We have some spots in there to help pay for our royalties and pay for what we have to do with electricity to keep the station on the air. But I'm very conscientious of what people like. And we try to keep the traction going at a good pace. The morning's a little bit easier. It climbs in the afternoon towards noon time. It's pretty good. Right till six, seven o'clock at night. Listen to it this time of night. A little common music. So you can go to sleep to Kiki Davam. Calm, Shmom. And also thank you to the Doghouse in Flat River Tavern and New England Shahari. Right. And if you want you want to take some self-defense classes, since they can, we'll do them virtually. If you need information, reach out to us and well, listen great. to the state listen to the station where you can find out more information about since they can what he's done for almost 40 years. Yep. He's a great great teacher it's a way of life it's uh, it not only teaches, doesn't teach just teach karate it's a way of life and it will do so much good for you mentally and and Kazella lumber of course and we thank everybody and again each and every one of you we truly appreciate it and you know we're just here to have a good time and to just chat about you know what's going on in the world which is just sometimes crazy like i don't know well, the it, thing there's is, there's so many things going on. But, but, but we want to reach out just, to you. you know, and we're kind of your escape to get away from all that stuff in the world. And again, we want to have a good time together. I want to say something here. Key to him, and I'm just not saying this to make it sound better. We have become a family. This is the Key to him radio family right here, right now. We have got to know each other. We have relationships with you, even though a lot of you we've never met before. But just by talking to you and reaching out to you, we know what's going on in your life. You know what's going on in our life. We're sharing our experiences together with music. And it's the Kiki Dunham Radio family. And thank you for keeping us alive and kicking. Absolutely. And Sylvia, I'm sorry, Kiki, do you have a link for that, which we could not see? Are you referring to the super stickers? I And honestly, if if that's what you're referring to, maybe somebody in the chat can help you because I don't, I don't see that. That's something that I think you guys see on your end. I think I don't, cause I don't see it. I, I don't know. So if that's what you're referring to, maybe somebody in the chat can help you with that. Sylvia, if that's what you're asking about, I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah. So we just love, you know, being here on Friday nights and just hanging with you guys and, you know, even potentially bumping into you now and again out in the wild at a show or, you know, something like wild. that. Well, yeah. I don't want to meet anybody in the wild. Absolutely. Oh well, if I God. have makeup on, it's okay. You know, it's it's the, but you know. If, <laughs> if I have makeup on, it would be really okay. If you go to my vlog, I never have makeup on. 
well, right. rarely. So that is that is me in the raw, which I don't care. Yeah, I, I mean, it. it's it's always, you know it is always got to get me in the raw. That's for sure. And by the way, anybody's on the chat tonight. If you haven't already done it, done it, you can be on the radio yourself. Some people are shy, but just hit the uh, the three lines to the side on your phone and you shout out. And you say hi. This I'm so and so from whatever state you're from, and I love myself or whatever you want to say. I love but, myself. Yeah. Well, why not? Right? And you can be on Key FM. Yeah. And like Scott is so nice. And he's reached out to me a number of times in the last few weeks. He's, he's a very nice gentleman, even though I've only met him once in my lifetime. He says, great job with the music, Gala. Thank you. And you know what? Great job with the music that you put out there to everybody, all concerts you say, see. And Scott, you do a great job, too. I'm not kissing your ass, either. Oh, my God. <laughs> so Sylvia said, give me a link so, so I can go find it, LOL. Gina said, to the right of the chat box, there is a dollar sign. Is there? See, I don't see. See, I don't wow. see that on my end. Sylvia, you're not in Canada, are you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but hopefully, you know, you can find it. Um, and and let's see. Candy said she has a question about a musician. Now they say Tony Franklin is married, but yet I've never seen his wife or him speak of her. Is he married? I don't know. Didn't they just break up? I heard. I don't know. Oh, did they break up? I don't know. I should be saying that. Oh, Sylvia's in Canada. Maybe that's right. why you can't see it. Right. Maybe that's why. So oh. we're about in Canada, are you? Yeah, where are you, Sylvia? You? Uh, by the way, uh, she's not in the chat tonight, but Anne, she's from Quebec. Annie Laflamme. Yeah. She, she's so cute. She is a great supporter of the station. She is. And she, yesterday, uh, texted me. She says, thanks for making my day. And I said, how do we make your day? I've been listening to Key Dive him all day. It's great. I mean, it's so you, awesome. Yeah, you know, it's great. You you enjoy it. And so is in the great province of Ontario. Very cool. Very cool. So, Thank you, oh, so Ontario, much. Ontario. Very cool. Um, hopefully, it's getting warmer up there for you. But you know, it's just been fun, and I look forward to this all week. This is my, this is my therapy. sane therapy. Therapy. And you guys help me a lot. And really know that you do you nobody really helps do. me right um i help you i do a lot for you al yeah you do yeah a great dinner today too the co we had a the, very simple dinner we had a simple dinner. was delicious it was so good was it it was really good the corn is like in season which is kind of weird well i think it helps to put sugar in the corn oh really absolutely hmm Oh my gosh, Candy, you're so cute. You're welcome, sweetie. You're always welcome, Alan Kiki. Bless your heart. We're, we're glad you're back, Candy. You know, and you know, we we know everybody's got a life, and you got to go do what you got to do. It's Friday night. I mean, a lot of people are, you know, out having fun or whatever. God, we used to be. Out Nobody every goes Friday. on Friday. Oh, ever. we used to be out every Friday night, but every that was Friday. years ago. Right. Was, like even now, I said, you know what? When we go to the beach now, we're going to go early in the morning and leave by the time the traffic gets there because I'm just not about it. I'm not about crowds anymore. I just, I don't know what it is. I've, well, the thing I've is, changed. For so many years, we used to both work Saturday nights on the radio. Yeah. And Friday nights, actually, we used to get done at midnight. We go get something to eat. Oh once my off. god! But, we didn't get home till like two thirty. Right, but Friday nights was our big night out. We always go out once in a while, every other week or so on a Friday night. Just you know, sit, relax, and just you know, I know tell Sylvia. Tell things to each other. It was it's great. True. Like yeah. Sylvia, I'm telling you, I like I said, I, I get tired. I really, it, it sucks. I hate it. And I don't um, like it. I just, I can't wait till the weather gets good again so I can just be motivated to it's not okay. be I don't like it. Where I'm old now, I take naps. I, don't, I, I have no problem saying that because I re-energize, you know, because Kiki gets me up early every, every morning. And I'm doing stuff at 4.35 o'clock in the morning. But right now it's past my bedtime. I mean, no, it's a, not. After we get done, no, it's not. Now, as we get done with the show tonight, we'll drive back from Jamestown, and I'll go to bed because I need my beauty rest. I'm gonna go right to bed. I swear, I'm gonna go right to bed. Get up early, and you know, I get up early every day, like five o'clock. I'm up, and I'm doing stuff pretty much all day, 
taking care of the cat and the dog and you know they're very needy they are literally like having children you guys know if you have pets and it's uh and i have an owl so there you go so gina says i've got to get some sleep have overtime in the morning 5 30 comes quick love you too gina and thank you thank you thank you and say good night owl Good night, Al. <laughs> and congratulations to Halise, who just hit 57,000 on her Facebook page, Bogey and Bacall, the movie, go and follow her. And everybody, again, thank you so much. Bye, Gina. You guys are the best. Bye, Kenny. I hope you have an bye, awesome Kurt. rest of bye, Kurt. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. Gina, bye, Patty. Nancy and Scott bye, and Sylvia, so Candy, right. thank you for being right. here. Patty. Bye, bye. Tanya, if Tanya's bye. here. Everybody, thank you so much. And well, Tanya, honey. No, Tanya W. and Sandra and everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great rest of the weekend. I hope the weather's great for you. Have a fabulous week ahead and we will see you soon. Love you. Love you. Love you. And hopefully you have a great week and we'll see you hopefully next Friday. Bye guys. Love you so much. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Say bye Al.